I'm going to teach you how to make a simple silicone mold today. I'm going to start by mixing 50% of green soap, palm olive, and 50% alcohol. And then shake that up a little, get it all mixed up, and this creates a very good mobility. Now, I'm going to get my silicone, which is already pre-cut, pre-stabbed, and I'm going to squirt enough to cover this interesting UFO shape, maybe about three-fourths of the container. Is it important what type of silicone you use? It is very important. You want to use 100% silicone. I like the DAP Clear 100% silicone rubber sealant. What I'm doing now is I'm pouring it into water to agitate it to get the chemical that makes this stay gooey in the tube. I'm mixing it to get it out so I can cover my the object I want to make a mold of with it and it won't take days to dry. So before you do anything you want to coat your hands with the mold release. You don't want the stuff sticking to your hands. <laughs> I mean you might, but it takes a long time to get up and it sticks weirdly. So I just play with it like you're kneading dough. I, I like to recoat my hands. I, I may have used a little too much alcohol, but you'll get the right proportions. The more you play around with it, it's not exact science. It's kind of what works for you. I would just maybe do this about two to five minutes, no more than five, maybe no more than four. While that kind of sits a little longer, I'm going to coat my object with the mold release so it easily comes out and the silicone does not get stuck to it. That is the easiest way to ruin any silicone mold. So just coat this up. The more the better. Make sure you get everywhere. Don't be cheap with the mixture. So now that I have my silicone that's been setting and my object that is completely coated with the the soap alcohol mixture, I'm ready to put it on. Simplest way to do this is kind of get some of this on here. Be careful. So I'm just spreading this around the objects. You need to be patient with the silicone and work it slowly <laughs> around to make this nice silicone mold that you can reuse over and over again. I'm flip it around. Still working this silicone around the object and it does take a little time and patience and work like playing with it and getting used to the texture and it's really worth taking the time to make the mold right. Make sure to cover every area. Ugh. See, sometimes annoying little things like that happen. They peel apart. <laughs> you get frustrated at it. And you want to throw it against the wall. Don't do that because if you just gently just keep working at the silicone, then you have time. I don't know if there's such thing as putting on too much mold or any fleece or not. It just keeps tearing in different spots. You want to leave a little opening to get the wax in. I'm going to push this stuff up because it's still setting. I'm going to push it around so I can use it on the other side because the other side kind of seems a little thin. Right in here. I need to get all this over there slowly so there's no more ripping. I use these to make make molds of my wax waxes that I use to do in the casting process, like um, using lost wax casting to cast aluminum or bronze. But there's so many different things you can probably use this for. If you want to make a mold of an object and make unicorn candles over and over again, or make candy molds. I don't know if you could use candy with silicone though. You might need a different special thing. How does that look? 
goopy. Yeah, goopy. It is goopy. Don't eat it. No. And keep away from children. Now I'm just going over this, rubbing it in, making it smooth, and making sure there's no part of this that is not covered. It's kind of thin around here, but that will have to do. And this side. Can you tell if it's setting while you're working on it? Yes. As it starts to set, it gets harder to push together with the other pieces. You kind of start getting segmented. Like here, I'm working on a little flap, trying to get that into the mold. And just kind of knead it in and kind of work with it, cover it, dig it back in. And there is a point where I can't do anything about it. I'm almost there. So it's almost time just to make sure all this is sealed up and set it aside. It's 30 minutes, but sometimes just, I don't know why, I leave mine in overnight. And there we go, fully covered Beautiful. shape. And you can do this with anything. Things you make, things you find. Make sure all the table has some mold release, so you just set that down and let it dry. And that's how you make a silicone mold.